Hey everybody, Kenneth Russell here. I hope you're doing great. Today I'm talking about in-ear monitors, particularly getting in-ear monitor mixes separate where your whole band has their own separate mix or your whole group is able to control their own volumes and do everything separately. So check it out. So I got this email from actually a Facebook message from somebody a couple days ago and he was asking for some help and I'll just kind of read it here for you. He said, uh, hey, I, I wanted to reach out to you. I'm a pastor of a church of 100 plus. We have a great band. We have some decent equipment. My band of five people want monitor system where they can turn themselves up or down. Currently, we have inner monitors where we can't separate it as a blend. And I can completely relate to you. When we first uh, were uh, starting our church 15 years ago. Uh, monitor mixes were very, very difficult. We had two monitor mixes that we were able to, to, to use. And so it was like the front was the, the vocalist and the back was the band and that was it. Um, and it, things have come a long way and technology has progressed a lot recently. So he sent me a couple pictures of what kind of things he has going on here. He's got this older board. He's got some amps. Um, so amps wise speakers, you're pretty good. He's got some Sennheiser mics. Awesome. Here's the line mixer where he, all of his people are, are doing that. And he's got an old mixer here. So all those things are, are happening. All those things are, uh, that's where he's the, the equipment that he's had. And he's got, he said he's got $1,500 to spend now, $1,500, probably I could put together a system where you could do it for 1500. Uh, but it may not be one that you want to build on for growth, but I'll show you what that could be here in just a little bit. Um, let's see. Uh, so I said, Hey, I need a couple things from you. Um, I need to know, uh, basically what's your minimum and max budget. Uh, how many band members, vocalists, size of the room, do you have speakers, do you have floor monitors. And then also does your band use an iPad for music stands? Um, and he said, uh, 1500 or 3000 is the max five band members, three vocalists, about 1500 square foot for the room. We have speakers, they use in-ear monitors, but they're on one blend and they do use iPads. There's no way for them to separate it in their ears. He said, I hope you can help. My band is frustrated. I bet your band is frustrated, Kevin, because uh, I've been there. I've been frustrated and I've been the one that's responsible for coming up with the solution. And that's what I hope to do in this video here is to help you to figure that out. So um, let's just look at it. Uh, a couple things here before I dive into the specific equipment that you need um, and kind of generalize it. You, you need uh, really essentially three or four things things. Number one, you need a mixer and it's going to need to be a digital mixer that is capable of outputting multiple outputs and creating individual mixes. Okay. So if you had an old analog mixer that was able to output, say, give eight outs that could give everybody their individual mixes, but then you're going to have every single person calling back to the sound person going, Hey, uh, turn this up, turn that down. And I trust me, it is a nightmare. Um, sound people are, are just amazing, but it's impossible to mix for all those different people. Um, it, I mean, it, it's hard enough to create a mix that that's good in the house. There's no way you can guess on what everybody is hearing. Uh, just because a fader says one thing doesn't mean that's what they're really hearing. Anyway, there's a lot of variables involved in that. And anytime you can take those variables and put them in the hands of the person that's actually hearing it, that is awesome. So you need a, a digital board that's able to have individual mixes created digitally that they individually have control over. Then you're going to need to get a, a stage box, basically, that it's going to able to uh, something. You're, it's a digital snake is what it is. Uh, you could use an analog snake, but typically analog snakes, um, they're actually pretty expensive and they usually don't have as many ins and outs uh, as you need for this kind of setup. But if you had an analog snake, you could try to use this and alter it a little bit, maybe get some uh, couplers to reverse the XLR cables if you need to, that kind of thing. Um, but a stage box, which basically allows everybody to plug in on stage and it uses the cat five cable to go back to the sound mixer, go back to the console and it carries, I don't know how, but it carries all that audio, uh, all those ins and outs without any delay. It's really quite amazing. And then you're going to need some way to take the aux out of that stage box and put it in the ears of your musicians and singers. And, uh, you can do that two different ways. You can have personal mixers where it uses a cat five cable and they're able to mix it individually, um, on a hardware device. 
And you can also use a, a, a smaller system that basically is just an XLR cable plugs into it, clips on their belt, and they're able to mix on an iPad and have a volume that they're controlling up and down. So I'm going to show what system we use. And this is the system that I recommend. I've used a couple other brands. I'm not going to dog any other brands. I think that they've, they're all doing a pretty good job with this, but the, the Behringer ecosystem, I've been extremely happy with their, their stuff talks to each other really well. Um, if they're the newest generation of something works well with the previous generation, which a lot of other companies, that is not the case. Everything is very intuitive and it's easy to, to train, um, you know, if it's particularly in a church setting, which is what I'm, I'm used to, you know, it's not usually professional singers and professional musicians is there, uh, it's a volunteer group. And so, um, you know, it's a lot of, you have to train on, on how to use this software and how to use this app and how to use this equipment. And Behringer does a pretty, it's pretty good on, on the, uh, the, the learning curve in order to get good at that. So, all right, it's uh, six minutes into this video. Let's jump into the actual equipment you, that I recommend that you get. And uh, I'm going to just kind of give you my recommendations and then I'm going to give you a couple other options. Okay, here. So the, the first thing is um, this, the Behringer X32. And Behringer makes uh, a couple of versions of these. Actually, I think they make four versions of these. This is kind of their, on their middle to upper tier. This is called the Behringer X32 Compact. Let me just show you really quick the, the full version. And it's the exact same thing with the exception of, if you look on the back panel here, this has 16 outs here. So you actually have the option here on this board for $2,200 to have 40 inputs and 16 outputs, which is actually quite amazing for that price point um, that, that it's able to do that. So in, in theory, you could have fixed 16 different monitors, 16 different in-ears running on this. And I know for your situation, that's a little bit overkill. Um, and that's why I'm actually gonna recommend uh, the, the Compact. It's a little bit cheaper. Uh, it's about $400 cheaper and on the back, you can see here that it has eight outputs. Okay. So you're able to do eight outputs. Now I'm going to show you in a minute how that you're not exactly limited to eight people. You, there is ways you can, you can have more people on this, but uh, as far as hardware outs, you have eight here, which would take care of you there. And at the end of the video, I'll show you an even uh, for about a thousand dollars less than this, an option that you could utilize that a good friend of mine uses in his church in Lake Charles. Um, so we have here those two things and I recommend this one. So basically $1,800 for this board. Um, and then they make another one. This is the producer and that's, uh, 1550. And I don't recommend this one as much. Um, I, I think that for the, the price difference, you know, $150, you get more out of the other one. Um, but basically the only hardware differences on these, these two are the, the outputs and it's got more faders on the front, but, but it digitally switches anyway. Okay. The next thing you need is, like I said, that stage box. Now they used to have this one, uh, and they might be discontinuing this, but this is basically, um, you know, you can see here, there is 32 inputs right here and 16 outputs. So if you got the big board, this is a good option here, but this is a thousand dollars for this. And I looked around a long time for a good deal on this. And I still think I paid $900 for mine when I found a really, really good deal on it. Um, and, but you're not going to want to use this one. And there's another, there's a little brother in this one, uh, called the, this is the S 16, the, the big, big boy is the S 32. Um, S 16, it, it's basically half of half of that. You get, uh, 16 inputs and eight outputs, but then, um, they make another one called the S D 16. And this is what I'd recommend you get. Uh, the S D 16 is it's got 16 inputs here and then it's got eight outputs on the bottom uh that and then it's got what i'm going to talk about in a minute called ultranet so the cool thing about um this product and the way that, that a stage box works is even though this has 16 inputs on the stage that doesn't mean you can't plug something directly into the mixer itself so like all of your uh mics that are wireless you don't have to plug them into this stage box you can actually plug them directly into the, the mixer itself. So even though this says, you might say, I'm going to run out of 16 inputs really fast. Like you may not because 
um, you, you could put just all your band on these inputs and then have uh, all your vocals go, you know, wirelessly to your main main board. So um, this here is six hundred and fifty dollars. So going on retail, we're looking at a total right now of about twenty four fifty. Now let me just say this: um, I recommend not just buying something on Amazon. I mean, you can do it; it's great, but uh, if you go through a company like Sweetwater, and I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that, I'd love to be, but uh, if you go to a company like that, then then you can get with the salesperson and say, hey, I'm looking to buy you know, the Behringer XR or the X32 Compact. I'm wanting to get the SD16. I'm wanting to get a couple other things. What is the best price that you can give me on this? And they'll be able to put together a deal for you. My experience is, it's usually at least about 10%, 10 or 15% off of what retail is, depending on the product, depending on the company. Uh, but for, from my experience in the Behringer world, that's kind of about what it is. I can expect about a 10 or 15% discount on this. So at this, if you're looking at 2450, you might be able to get this down to $2,100, something like that. So those are just a couple things to consider. Also, I see uh, these Behringer boards on the Facebook marketplace all the time where you can get them for very inexpensive. Like, uh, I've seen the full one that, that retails, like we just saw for $2,200. I've seen that as, as little as $1,600 on Facebook marketplace or Craigslist. So, um, I, I recommend looking at that. Sometimes people are, are cautious about buying something used, but, um, I, 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 you know, if you're on a budget, that's a very, very good option. All right, let me move right along here. Okay. So we've got our stage box here and, uh, this again runs with a cat five cable to your main mixer. You're plugging everything in here. And then down here at the bottom, all your instruments are coming in here, one through 16. And then this out one through eight, this is your monitor mixes. So with this system here, you have eight different sends that you can send to your band. So these are hard wire like 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 hard uh sends you send so you literally will plug an xlr cable into this and the other end of the xr cable xlr cable they're going to have to have something that gets into their ears but these are uh this is how that's going to work so here this would this would solve your problem of having your eight different individual sends so uh how do you get them in your ears um let me see if i can find where that was this right here this is called the behringer power play p2 uh i really like this thing this uh they, they did a really good job with this and i'll tell you why um on the it's it's very simple first of all it's got this clip to here that goes on your your belt it's got a headphone jack and it's got a volume and then on the bottom of it you plug in that xlr cable directly into this and there's your feed and so you're able to go into the software on the board so uh, your vocalist or your, your band member will be able to go into the software on their board and adjust their monitor feed. And then on this, the P16, they would turn up or down this volume knob to get their overall mix up or down. Now, uh, I'm not going to go into the details of the app, uh, but if you, if you can watch different YouTube videos on it, it's called, if you just search uh, Behringer X32 app, um, it, you, you can see it, but it's pretty cool because that app, every single member of your band and vocalist would have their individual mix coming in here with these eight, um, pretty neat. And that app is free. You don't have to, to pay extra for that. It's all right there. So if you're looking at this, you're looking at, uh, $40 again, you're going to get this less than that. I want to say you probably will get this for 30 bucks if you bought a bunch of them. So if you had eight of these uh, for $30, well, I'll even just say for $40, it'll be really retail price. Eight of these at 40, that's another $320 plus our uh, $24.50. So what is that? Um, $300 plus uh, $27.70 that we'd be looking at. So right now we're, we're under budget. Um, as far as that's concerned, of course, you're going to need to buy some XLR cables, and I'll talk about that in a second. There are other options you have, and you may already have some. Uh, the Rolls, I've used the Rolls in the past. Rolls is a good brand. They've got a uh, personal monitor mix uh, that are very similar to this. Also, even in the Behringer world, there's this, uh, the P1, which is the same exact thing, except it's got two inputs here on the back, which you don't need for the setup that you're looking at. Also, it has, uh, it's pretty bulky. 
it's pretty heavy and and I, that's why I actually even though this is you know the better one because it's you know it's offering more i actually prefer uh the other one better i prefer the the p2 um now this is the behringer p16m and these are awesome these are truly awesome okay our our band uses these individually now this is going to blow your budget so you're not going to be able to do this right now but if a year from now or two years from now you wanted to, to go the next step all the equipment that you just purchased that are previously recommended you'd be able to use this um our band uses this we have i think we have seven of these on our stage and uh, everybody uses it right next to where they're they're sitting at on a mic stand this is mounted and they're able to control individually on that hardware device that mix and so basically what happens is like on channel one you can say this is going to be drums and then this is going to be bass guitar and electric guitar and electric guitar two and acoustic guitar and then all they got to do is press that button and turn up the volume i've actually got a video on my youtube channel that shows how to use these they're a little pricey um and when i say pricey i mean like on a budget pricey these are actually really really inexpensive considering that these are i think kind of based off of avion which is another company and just the mixers there i believe are like five or six hundred dollars just for their mixers so you're talking about half the price again you're going to pay less than this probably if you go to sweetwater or someplace like that i bet they'd sell it to you for 250 or so so um these are a great option so we we do in our church is we actually have a hybrid of both of these so all of our band is on the p16 m's and then our vocalists use the ipad for their mixes so we kind of do both uh, of these here um and the one thing you're gonna have to know is you're gonna have to buy one of these along with it this is like a stand that, that's able to clip onto a mic stand or uh you know just be able to clip it on because it doesn't come with it so you have to add another 50 dollars for that i wish they would have kind of included that into it but um i guess that's one way for them to kind of cut the prices down a little bit now if you are going to use the p16 m's you need or you don't you don't need need but you you can use this right here which is uh this is an the ultranet ultranet is what uh behringer calls their uh digital sending system so it's like how they get all the mixes in uh over cat5 you're going to need one of these this plugs in ultranet in and then it splits it out eight different ways you can actually stack these on top of each other so you can actually do uh i guess it'd be 15 ins or 15 outs if you put like if you're out of number eight would go into another one or another in you'd get another eight channels if that makes sense um so you can kind of do that you can daisy chain them and this is power over e uh, power over ethernet so um what's cool is when you have the the mixer itself it's powered from the cat5 cable now if for some reason you don't want to do this you know it's a uh, hundred and seventy dollars you can just daisy chain you know you put plugging one in here and then say this is your bass player and then you plug out and go to your guitar player and his in and the only difference is it's not power over ethernet you have to use the adapter to power each one of these so it can kind of make the the stage just a little bit more tangled up uh, but that is also a good option to use um let me see what else i had here oh and, th and i recommend this that just go ahead and get these hosa uh rain cables these are really good they last a long long time 25 footer for 20 bucks right now so um you know if you were getting eight of those you're gonna end up spending another 160 bucks on this if you were ultra um budget um oh actually before i move into that i wanted to show you this on the on one thing about the reason why i like this this too is that that ultranet um on this stage box in particular it has four of these ultranets out with power over uh ethernet here so or power over yeah power over ethernet poe so um you wouldn't necessarily need where was that this right here you'd have four options and maybe you wanted to daisy chain a few other ones now another option that you might consider if you cannot afford the 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 behringer the you know the the board right here you know this is eighteen hundred dollars if you can't afford that and you need some sort of uh of, 
uh, you, but you have to have some sort of way to get the, the in-ear monitor mixes. Let me just show you, this is the this is the XR18 by Behringer. And this guy is really cool. Matter of fact, I've got one down here. This is my Behringer XR18. It's, it's sideways. I have it uh, sitting sideways on this. And this guy is just a really, really cool unit. Um, now, let me tell you the, the difference of, of this is. And now this may suit your needs. It may do everything that you want to do with this. Um, it's got 16 inputs here but uh it only has six outputs so it's got six auxes and then it's got your main left and right so you would only be able to get six separate inner monitor mixes if you're using the hard outs here but it does have the ultranet so you could use the p16s and p16ms for those individual mixes um if you wanted to use these right here you this has the capability of of that for the price point 550 it's really amazing uh, how inexpensive this is. Well, really, it, it, I, I'm really dumbfounded. This is 15 years ago. I would have I would have loved to have had this as our main mixer instead of uh, I think we had an old Mackie board at the time. And but just being able to do this, it has another app that comes with it, and so you can download the app on your iPad or other device. And it's very similar to the X32. It's not the same app, but it's similar to it. And people can go in there and they can adjust their individual monitors as well. Um, so that's an option that you, you might want to consider too, is using the, the XR18 instead of getting the, the, full, the full Behringer there. So uh, other than that, the, the, other, the only other problem with this is it's not a hard, uh, there's not an actual mixer to it. Um, so you're, you would not be able to like use the faders and that kind of thing. You'd only be able to do it on iPad. Um, a couple things about it. It does have a Wi-Fi uh, kind of like a router built into it, but it is a really junky router. I've never been able to have good success with it. So if you are going to use this, you only, you have two other options. You can flip this switch and use the, uh, you can hook it up to another router, which is what I prefer or you can use the actual an ethernet cable hooked up to a computer um, which actually that might be the best option too so you could run you basically would put this on your stage as a stage box run an internet cable all the way to your sound booth and then have a computer there that's running it now um, if you had like a, a touch screen that would be kind of cool it'd be easier to use but um, i personally like to be able to have the, the 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 faders the actual faders for a sound person in front of house i think it's kind of to each his own because one of our sound guys never uses this he uh, he actually behringer actually makes an x32 rack mount um that's very similar to the xr18 uh, but it, it, it's got all the ins and outs of the x32 and he runs that with his band and so when he does sound uh, he never even goes back into hardly ever goes back and, and and is sitting at the desk with the actual thing he's walking around on the ipad making mix changes everywhere so um hopefully that kind of that kind of helps you here let me throw this um excel spreadsheet that i made up here you can kind of see this here i'm, I'm let me try to blow this up maybe a little bit you can see but we're looking at right now um all the different options that i had here um the the compact version is the one i'd recommend eighteen hundred dollars the behringer sd 16 six hundred and fifty dollars the behringer power and play twos uh, forty dollars you'd need eight of them so three hundred and twenty dollars and then uh say eight uh green uh uh, hoser ring cables 160 bucks if you need uh in ears um i do recommend and i think you guys already have these but um the kz z s ends kz makes really great uh in ears they uh I, i've just been been pretty happy with them if you don't know i've reviewed a bunch of different in ears uh, and i think i'm actually going to review these these coming up here pretty soon uh, but these are great monitors, in-ear monitors for the price, 23 bucks. You really can't beat that. Um, now, most churches will kind of just have their their people buy uh, whatever uh, in-ears that they personally want. Um, but if you were going to provide that for your your church, then then you know you 
let's just say you, you half of them you need to buy that be another hundred bucks for that so if you bought if you bought in ears um you're right at three thousand thirty dollars now mind you like i said if you go to a company and you say hey i'm i, I i've got i want to buy all this stuff um you know what's the best price you can give me they're going to run the numbers and they're going to crunch it and they're going to say you know probably on this if i had to guess you'd probably would be looking at about twenty six hundred dollars uh, rather than this three thousand thirty you'd probably be looking at about that hopefully this will help you kevin um you know i i think that if you you possibly could do it if you wanted to do the xr18 um you could you know you could do this for sure for less than fifteen hundred dollars uh but if you wanted to do something where you're building off of it then you could uh, i recommend really i recommend trying to find a used behringer x32 somewhere so on facebook or on uh craigslist or on ebay whatever the case is um just uh you can find them pretty in, inexpensive. I think I've seen the compacts for as little as twelve hundred dollars, maybe even maybe even eleven hundred dollars. My brain is uh, is thinking eleven hundred dollars. I've seen one that inexpensive. So, Kevin, hopefully this helps you uh, make your decision on what you're you're supposed to be doing with uh, with your church and your in ears. And for everybody else, hopefully this helps you uh, if you're considering uh, putting together an in ear monitoring system for your your situation. So, can this rustle out? Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you made it this far, you are a rock star. You're awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out of here and I will see you in another video.